Be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. Proverbs 4.23 out of the Good News Bible. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Don. I thank you, Lord God, for your word and your grace upon this word. I thank you, Lord God, for the things that we have to go through in order to walk strong. Thank you for the trials in life. I thank you, Lord God, that we have an opportunity to get closer to you in those things. And I ask, Lord God, that you just bless my brothers and sisters and bless this word this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory. Man, I'm running late this morning. <clears throat> I am just <laughs> running late this morning. Praise the Lord. Overslept an hour. Had a, had a, a, a sliver in my thumb that was bothering me for the past couple of days. Got rid of it. Um, got a cold sore. I had some kind of rash trying to climb on my arm yesterday. You know, I and um, you know, I could allow these things to put me in a bummed out mood. I could allow these things to to make me angry. I could I could allow those things to begin to cause me to complain. But uh, you know, like Paul, we get things in our side. We get thorns in our side, whether they're little tiny ones or great big huge ones. And Jesus is saying, bring those things to me. And my grace is sufficient for thee, and my strength is made perfect in your weakness. We should not lose hope in trials, no matter how small or how large they are. What we need to do is we need to begin to focus on the Lord. Last night I got attacked in my sleep. <laughs> of all places. You know, and... Uh, and and I just laid there, and I was kind of amused by it. And and it got to the point of it was it was actually getting to the point of me become annoyed. <laughs> but uh I praise the Lord I was able to keep my eyes on, on the Lord. It was like, Lord, you know, I just start mumbling something out of my mouth and God he can he can translate what's coming out of your heart and and through your mouth. And so praise the Lord he was able to deal with it and I fell back to sleep and I overslept an hour. <laughs> Glory. I must have needed to sleep. <laughs> but I just I praise the Lord for the things that come into my life and we need to we need to have that attitude. It doesn't mean they're easy. It just means that they're coming in our lives and and when we, we uh have things come into our life for growth and I'm not talking about things that we do ourselves to, to bring things into our lives. I'm talking about things that are, that come via supernatural means through the enemy. And, uh, you know, when we have those type of things come up, you know, the enemy wants to direct your thoughts to the negative side of things and get you, your eyes, you eyes, your eyes off of the Lord. He absolutely wants to get your eyes off the Lord. If the enemy can come and and get your eyes off the Lord, then then he's then the battle's almost won. Uh, last night I kept hearing, uh, "Resist the devil and he'll flee." Resist the devil and he'll flee. Um, resist the idea of getting angry and upset in your situation. Resist the idea of of saying this isn't working out I'm throwing it down resist those ideas <clears throat> the enemy's greatest weapon his greatest tool is getting you to believe his lies once he's got that leverage on you he can begin to build his uh, stronghold and so we need we need to deal with those things on, on a godly level and just begin to look to the Lord. If you've got something going on in your life, and I believe we all do, um, you need to just begin to give it to the Lord. Allow the Holy Spirit to wrap you up, to triage you, to bandage you up if you need that. If you've been under a hard struggle and you're holding on, continue to hold a little bit more because the dawn will break, the darkness will flee. And I just want to encourage you in that in that uh, realm, and and begin to quote the promises of God in your life. But just remember, just remember, be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. If you're negative, that's how your life's going to be. If you're in a struggle and and you're and you begin to say, "I can't do this," that's what's going to happen. You're going to walk away. You're going to stumble, fall, and walk away. 
a righteous man will stumble many times. The Bible says seven times, I think it is, and God picks him up. But, you know, Jesus goes on to add to that by saying, how many times should we forgive our brother? And he goes, 70 times seven. You know, in other words, always. God will always pick us up, and we have to we have to consider that. If, if, if our thought, if our thoughts, now I'm not saying that our thoughts are always positive, okay? But if our thoughts are resolved to walk with the Lord and not to give up, then that's what's going to happen. We're not going to give up. It's like <clears throat> the past, I don't know, month or so, maybe longer, but that I can recall on Saturdays, as I'm at work, the thought tries to float in there that I don't want to go to church tomorrow. I got this to do. I got that to do. I, I need to do this. I need to do that. And and that thought will grind on me all day and I'll fight against that thought and be, no, I've got to fellowship. That's where I need to be. And, and I set my mind, I get a mindset that not for religious reasons, but for fellowship, to get the word, to bring it in, to, to fellowship in the Holy Spirit, to see what God's doing. That's where I want to be. But if I was to allow those thoughts to shape me, Sunday morning I'd get up, make a cup of coffee, start drinking, and go, I don't feel like going today. I don't need that fellowship. That doesn't change how who I am in Christ. I, I, I can have a million different thoughts on the issue, but the thing is, is I'm not going to allow that thought to shape my day or the next day. Or maybe I might not feel like doing my home meeting. <laughs> I haven't had that for a while, but you know, there was a point there where it was like, man, I don't know if I want to do this. And that was a thought from being sowed by the enemy to see if I was resolved in what I was going to do. So I, I think where I'm going with this is if you're struggling in some area of your life and you don't think that you're going to overcome it, or if you're struggling in all areas of your life, begin to resolve, guard. Um, this word, be careful, a lot, of, a lot of translations, it's guard how you think. Guard your thoughts. And guarding isn't protecting, okay? It's not our job to protect ourselves. It's God's job to protect us. It's our job to guard and to come into agreement. You see the difference? <laughs> we're to block those thoughts. When they come into our head, we're supposed to say, No! <laughs> when, when something tries to tempt us not to go to church, if we have the opportunity, we're supposed to say, No! You know, unless it's a church that's trying to put you in religious bondage, then you need to pray, should I be there or not? Um, I know while I'm feeling like talking right now, I, uh, myself personally, uh, have thought about going and looking at other churches, but, you know, I know that's not God laying that on my heart. It's my flesh, the world, and the enemy. And, and so, you know, I'm resolving myself, I'm resolutioning myself, I'm resulting. I, the, res, the end results are going to be, my thoughts are going to be godly towards my church. I'm not going to look for a reason to leave. I'm not going to look for a reason to leave my home meeting. I am going to do what I believe I've been called to do. I am set my mind to it. I will have many trials, but I'll overcome them all, and there's a comfort in that. Because I know that God's going to be there through every single trial. Glory. Glory. Now I want you to have an awesome day today. I thank you, Lord God, for your mercy and your grace upon this word. And I ask, Lord God, that my brothers and sisters, if they're struggling in an area, would become resolute, that they would drop a resolution, and that they would command their thoughts to line up with your word, that they would come into agreement that they are they are sons and daughters of the Most High, that they can do all things through you, Christ Jesus that their, their strength is not in themselves, but their strength is in you, from you, by your grace, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for your mercy and your grace today in this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, get along with the Lord. <laughs> I know, I said I wasn't going to do that anymore, but it just popped out. I don't even know how uh, how well this guitar is tuned up. I didn't, uh, I see if I can remember this tune that I started yesterday. I started a tune yesterday. Praise you, mighty God. 
God Praise you Mighty God I can't remember that tune I haven't recorded but I just want to praise you Mighty God My fingers will work Praise you Lord Praise your name trying to expand glory praise you mighty God <laughs> yeah praise him let's just praise him and let's resolve let's have a resolution let's be absolute in our thinking that we are going to walk in the righteous way of our God. In Jesus' name, we'll see you. Bye.